Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I made the rocky display base for my Arcanaut Admiral. The materials you're going to need are a base or a plinth to build on. I'm using a round wooden disc as I did for the Arcanaut. You'll also need tree bark. I took these from the logs destined for our fireplace, but garden centers sell huge bags of bark chippings. Or you could, you know, just go outside and pull some off a tree. You'll probably want to add some real rocks to your base. I have a selection of slate pieces I picked up from the great outdoors. You'll need milliput or a similar putty to integrate the whole thing together, and some fine gravel or grit to represent smaller loose stones on the base. Finally, you will need some sand. I use bird sand, which you can get from pet shops. It's a very fine sand, which will help it to look in scale, and it has pieces of shell and stuff mixed in for variety. First off, I'm just piling up my pieces of bark to try and find a composition I like. You can trim your pieces down with side cutters to match the base, but I deliberately left plenty of overhang so the layout looks less forced. I glued the bark in place with super glue, which isn't ideal for the task. If you have the patience to let it dry before moving on, then PVA glue might do a better job. I didn't worry too much however because it would be nice and sturdy once the milliput is added. I was making this base just as a demonstration, so I didn't have any particular miniature in mind for it. Obviously it's worth placing your miniature on the base as you're building it up, to check the composition and to make sure there's somewhere for the miniature to stand. I placed a space marine on the base just to get a sense of how it might look when it was finished. The tree bark forms the bulk of the base, but I also added smaller pieces of slate. It's worth noting that the slate will probably break apart if you try to drill into it, so if you plan on pinning your miniature to the base, you should drill into one of the bark pieces. I pushed my pieces of slate in here and there between the bark, gluing them in place as I went. I wasn't really worried about realism, but you could look at reference pictures of real rocky landscapes if you want an idea of how to place your rocks. Again, super glue didn't work particularly well with the bark, so a bit later you'll see me just stick rocks in place with putty alone. I decided to add another thin piece of bark at this point to flatten off the top of the base and still leave myself the ability to drill down into this part to mount a miniature. Once the main volumes of the base are in place, I used milliput to fill the gaps between some of the pieces. Milliput sets rock hard a few hours after the two components are mixed together so it will give the base plenty of strength. I used a sculpting tool to push putty into the gaps and form it into shape. The milliput is sticky enough to hold small pieces in place so I just pressed pieces of bark and slate directly into it. You want to avoid creating a smooth surface with the putty so any areas you don't cover with stone or bark should be roughed up with the end of your sculpting tool. You don't need to put putty everywhere and it's nice to leave overhangs and outcroppings in your base. However, to get a realistic look it was important to fill the large holes under the bark at either side, so I paid particular attention to these.
the milliput work is done, I flattened out my excess putty so I can test when it's hard enough to continue. At this point the base still looks like a random pile of junk, but once it's primed and painted it should look good. The final step in the construction is to add gravel and sand to the base. To do this I used an old paintbrush to blob on some PVA glue, and then I sprinkled over the gravel and sand before wiping off the excess. I focused on adding them to the hollows and dips in the base, areas where loose stones would naturally collect. This process makes a right old mess, so you might want to do it over the bin, or give it the once over with a mini vacuum cleaner, or you'll be finding bird sand in your wet palette for weeks. That's it for the construction, in the next part I'll be showing you how I painted and finished the base. Thanks for watching.